introducing the superior products california cover all oh, what's going on y'all i ordered this from amazon it just come in guys i just got this in uh today this was like 15 bucks man 15 bucks it's the cover all california style all right i'm kind of interested in trying this product and see you know i never tried a liquid version over here to the east coast side you know so I said, mm, I'm going to try the California style and see what there is all about. So it's high gloss fat, tire, and interior dressing. Superior products, guys. And just telling you how to put it on or uh, whatever. No, what a, the bin is a liquid form. I'm just going to spray it up there, let it sit. Then I'm going to take an applicator here and kind of wipe it in a little bit. So uh, we're going to see what's good, you know. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Superior California cover. Oh, all right, guys. So we're going to hit this tire right here just to see what it'll do. How much shine and gloss will we get out of this product? That's the first priority. All right. So let's get it, man. Let's go ahead and try it out. right so here what i can see it goes on very wet very wet like all right going on very wet now i would say using this product you're gonna have to spread it out like you're gonna want to spread it out so um it won't be runny like. Uh, I do have kind of like a fresh scent to it. The smell that I'm picking up has like a, yeah, it has a really fresh kind of citrusy scent to it. That's the first thing that I'm picking up. Now, if you spray it up here, from what I'm seeing here now, it's going to uh, have run lines in it. So, I would say using this product is, uh, it's, it's going to be, uh, a little bit gonna go a very long ways upon using this and this is what i already see with this product all right so now what i'm gonna do ben has been sitting here on the panel i'm gonna apply a little bit on the sponge here and i'm gonna wipe it in on the tire because you can't leave it like that it's gonna have run lines and so we use a product like this you're gonna have to smooth it out yeah, it smells pretty good. It's kind of got like a grapey, citrusy, grapey type scent. Boy, that looks good. And I like to do my tie shines really on like a full-size tire like I got here on a Ford Explorer. And man, this stuff is glossy too. And this is just the first coat. But this is the gloss that is given. And it looks pretty darn good to me. Now, is it worth 15 bucks? I don't know. Now, I don't know if it's, I wouldn't say it is from using this now, bring you guys in. I don't know if it's as shiny as the aerosol version, which I, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's not as glossy as the aerosol version here. But it looks good. It's for interior as well. Now, that being said, me personally, I would say this might be a little bit too oily for interior. Then again, it might not depend on how abandoned the interior is. If it's a really abandoned interior, then you might can um, put this on interior. But, you know, just note, this will be a little oily for interior, but it may work. It's got a nice gloss upon just spraying it up there. I would say you can apply it right to it. Now, this is the second coat. I'm going to apply this right to the applicator here and see and spread it up there that way and see how much shine and gloss we get from it like that. All right. So I'm going to apply it right to the applicator. Second coat. And I'm going to just kind of spread it around like so and see how much gloss and shine. That we get by just spreading around, just using the applicator. 
All right. That's the second coat. You know, that first coat, you got to let that first coat marinate in there now. No. <laughs> oh, man, it's still looking glossy. You got to let that first coat marinate, though. That's what a lot of people forget. You got to let that sit for a few minutes. You know, let it marinate down in that tire and then apply that second coat. That's how you got to do it. That's where you get that shine. So upon applying this with the second coat, looks very glossy. I'm going to bring you guys in. It's, it's pretty glossy. Not bad at all, as you guys can see. A second coat. And I think that's all you would need. I'm going to cut it to some more angles. But I still feel like that this is not as glossy as the aerosol version of the coverall in the blue can. Um, it's glossy, though. It's glossy, though. It's, it really is glossy. But I, I need to try the California version of aerosol and see the difference. You know, pretty sure it's not much of a difference. But this is glossy. But for the price of this, I probably would just go with the aerosol version. Ben is only like $388 at Walmart. You know, this is 15 bucks. But it depends. Some people don't like aerosol cans because a lot of times, sometimes you risk the fact that they might not spray, you know. Now, that's the good thing about these. You can always just change the trigger on the baller, you know. Cause I've got aerosol cans that don't spray. And, man, you you be mad. I'm like, I'm going to hit my tire. You know, stuff ain't coming out. You know, and it'll make you hot, you know. So, you got to look at that, too. That sometimes aerosol cans just don't spray, especially when it's cold. You know, when it's cold, a lot of times aerosol cans be like acting like they don't want to put out nothing. But with this right here, you you really wouldn't have to worry about it. Though. So that's a good thing. And I would say using this product, you'll want to note, I couldn't find no reviews on it, Holly, man. No reviews. I barely could find a review on it. So I said, I'm going to have to do it myself. Since I can't find nobody to really do a good review on this product. So I had to do it, man. But it's not as glossy as the aerosol, guys. I'm going to tell you all that right now. It's not as glossy as that aerosol can. You know, it just ain't there. Looks good. It looks good, but it's not as glossy as that aerosol can. But as you guys, you can see it right there. But it look good, though. See? It look good, but it's more of a medium to a high gloss shine, I would say. It's not no way near as shiny as the aerosol version that you get from Walmart. But it looks good. I guess that's why it's made for interior too and exterior. So, But it's glossy. It's nice. It's more of a medium to high gloss as it dries down. That's what I'm getting. Now, if you spray it up there and leave it, it might be different. But it looks good though. It makes your tires look nice and black. But it's not as glossy as the aerosol version. So there you have it, man. <laughs> and this is a solvent based silicone, rather, probably. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I couldn't find a decent review on this product. I had to do it, I had to buy it. Just like I'm going to order some more stuff for you guys. And pretty soon, man, I'm going to start doing some giveaways for you guys, man, out there. Thank y'all for watching in, you know. I could do a monthly giveaway of some kind of product or something I can give away on this channel. So at least I can do that much. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Share my videos out with your family and friends. And I recommend y'all give it a try. And like I said, that's about what type of shine that you're getting. It's right here. It's not very wet. It's more of a medium to a high gloss once it dries down. But... You know, some people like that kind of look. You know, not everybody like that wet stuff. So, it really can cater everybody's style. All right. Till next time. Get y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.